Hello ladies and gentlemen and now we are back with another interview for Vice President Society and Citizenship Candidate Zam Zam. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Enjoying conference so far? I am, it's been a great conference. It's been cold and rainy today, but good. Fantastic. So they say it's going to go down, so there's two questions going to be asked to yourself and the other candidate, both the same, okay. and then one more unique to your manifesto. Is that okay? That's fine. Okay, okay. So the first question, um, do you have a plan uh, to tackle the precarious work so many students take up and rely on? And if so, what's your plan to solve this? Uh, when you say precarious, do you want to be more specific? And so, zeros, contracts, okay. things like that. 100%, okay, cool. Um, well, as, um, as a, pre a president of my union, I've always been determined to ensure that there any work is, 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 is well-funded, um, is supported, um, and they receive a fair wage. And um, that's what we stand for. That's our principles as, as a union, right? Um, and I think 100% of the size of the citizenship zone needs to take take that serious and support student unions on the ground um, and, and, and fund um, grassroots campaigns. Thank you very much. Great. Second question. Second question. Um, as we know, uh, hate crime has risen quite a bit since Brexit. Um, is this a priority for you? And if so, um, what's your plan to try and try and tackle this issue, really? Yeah. Um, Hate crimes have risen um, quite massively, actually, and um, I've seen it. I've seen the impact on my own campus. And as president of my students' union, um, my, me and my team, we established a hate crime reporting centre. We uh, pushed that out and support, uh, put, uh, put sort of more support around our students uh, from welfare, counselling, and support. Um, and I think the National Union of Students has a has a massive part to play in that. Um, and hopefully, if I get elected as a vice president of society citizenship, I want to ensure that the society citizenship works with students on the ground, um, sets up not just um, reporting centres, but makes them um, accessible to students so students can report those issues. Because um, I think the, the biggest concern is there is a rise, but I, would, I still believe that there, there is um, a, a large proportion of numbers that are still not reported. Great. And final question. Um, in your manifesto, uh, you stated uh, that you will commission a hate crime survey within FE. Um, what do you hope to achieve from this and what actions will you take beyond the survey? Um, so the, the research has never been done before um, and further education is the, mass, is the biggest proportion within our, um, our movement in, within NUS um, and I often feel like um, FE students feel um, suffer from intimidation and abuse through their experiences at college um, and, and I have sort of a personal account for that. So I want to ensure that, um, that we have the stats to show that so we can offer you the resources and the support that you need. What I don't want to do is um, offer FE students a support system and, and resources that they don't need. Um, so it's more, it's more of, of, of ensuring that FE students get the support that they need from NUS. Brilliant. And that's the interview. Thank you very much. No worries. Thank you for having me. Thank you. <laughs> and that is yet another interview, ladies and gentlemen. There's the two candidates. Up to you to decide who to vote for. Catch you later.